in my video on the Focal 490, I wanted to show you my shot, but you couldn't see anything. So I'm going to do it again on this video. And here we have my ships. Oh, the Saratoga fell over. We're having problems keeping everything up. Saratoga, Missouri, Texas. And here's the other one. There's the Arizona. Titanic is on the bottom there. You barely see it. But these shelves are going to go here on the back wall. That board there is the table I'm building for the for the rail gun, which has to be repaired from the move. There's all the parts to the train. This all have to be moved around. And here's all my aircraft. A couple of big ones there. And my armor. So is my stash. Some of it at least. And boxes here are full too. Some on the shelf. And there in the back is a couple more boxes full. I have quite a few to build. A couple of cars that I got new. really cool one. And uh, Hasegawa re-released this uh, Toyota 88C. It's been on my wish list for a long time. The one from 2004 and it was always so expensive on eBay like over 100 euros. But now they got this new one and it was 30. And I hope it's good. And uh, also Sabre Mercedes. <coughs> Most of the cars most of the cars I got for my re my uh, shelf that I'm building are from the 60s and 30s, 40, 30s, 50s, 60s, something like that. But I got a couple newer ones too. There's also a Lamborghini uh, Diablo VT that'll go there. And then somebody gave me a Porsche back there from Ravel. So I'll probably build that too. It'll hold 20 cars, so there should be enough room. That's pretty much all here. A couple things I didn't I was working on before we moved. Uh Judy Bomber. And uh I've been working on this uh Fokker D1 for a long time. But one of the wing spars has been sent and I don't know how to fix that because they're, they're photo etch and I have no idea if I can get a replacement for it. Everything's laying on blurry, but I don't know how to get this thing to adjust when it's handheld. And here's an A10. And here's some of my, my spaceships. More spaceships. My Star Destroyer. The Enterprise. And then my aircraft. St stacked down there. A lot of things stacked up. Probably getting broken more. But I guess I'll have to fix them eventually. So now we're going to go do a review of the Bell H13 from MASH. Uh, it's pretty short actually. But I'll tell you already, it, it was a good kit and it's a nice looking uh, aircraft. So this is a kit from Ravel. 135 scale Bell, H, Bell H13H from MASH, the series. A kit is 04404 and uh, it's a really nice kit, I think. It's a little dusty. Um, it fit together really well. There was some little problems getting the engine into the framing here. It's a little tricky. Gotta watch out for it, but I do recommend this kit. It has nice detail. Unfortunately, it's a 135 scale. So it doesn't match with my other 
aircraft, which is all 148 scale. So I think a 148 scale Bell H-13 would be really pretty small, probably. The framing was pretty nice. There was, even though the kit I think is a bit older, there wasn't any, any kind of uh, warp parts or anything in it. It turned out really well. Like I said here, in the back. Let's see if you can get a picture of it better. The light in here is not all that wonderful. You can see the engine assembly there, and there's um drive shafts and stuff that go in between the framing and that was tricky you have to watch out and it's also kind of tricky to get the exhaust on there alright but they're not really there may be a little bit more problem with engineering and it's a problem with the parts the parts fit but I think the assembly is a little backwards The uh, interior was pretty nicely detailed. You can't see the instrument panel all that good, but it was a nice looking instrument panel. I had the instruments and everything nice on there. I wasn't sure about these... Uh, these medical badges here I thought they were supposed to be white but they're yellow in the kit I'm not really sure it's been a while since I've seen MASH in, in the series some of the uh, these covers for the stretchers are white and some of them are clear uh, I decided to leave them clear because uh, the white wouldn't be so great on the plastic, I don't think. It's a really nice kit. I spent quite a bit of time trying to get it uh, looking good. I didn't weather it at all, except for the engine a bit. And I do highly recommend this kit. Especially for if you're a fan of MASH, but they're hard to find. You can find them on eBay, but they cost upwards of 40 or 50 euros. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And ring that bell for notifi notifications on my new videos. Till next time.